we head now to our fashion correspondents as they show us the latest trends in Rome. <laughs> with our special guest, Sam Gebhardt from Fabulous Eye for the Roman Guy. Hi, I'm Allison, and I'm here with... Dan Gebhardt, host of Fabulous Eye for the Roman Guy. And we are here to save another Roman from a major fashion disaster. Oh, hey, oh, you! Okay. So what, oh, what are you wearing? Oh, what are you wearing? What are you wearing? Huh? This is just my what normal, everyday oh, no. tunic. This guy really needs our help. He does. Oh my goodness. Back to you, Rachel, while we turn this peasant Roman into a fabulous prince. Come with us, dear. We're going to make you into a fashion diva. Ravishing Roman, oh my gosh. Okay, thanks, Allison. I can't wait to see what he's going to look like. Now, I know all of you have been wondering, what should I wear to battle today? Well, here's some new fads you need to try. First up is the brass helmet, adorned with various colors of horse hair. But make sure not to have any of these silly feathers on top of your helmet. That is so last season. Next is the pollutamentum, aka the shoulder cloak, also seen in Vanity Forum, Elias, and Italian Vogue. Thanks, Flavius. See you later. And last but not least is the Larisha, the breastplate and backplate made of leather. But be careful, don't paint it with gold paint, because only Caesar can do that. Speaking of Caesar, I think Rachel Demires is with him right now. Hi, I'm here with Caesar. Tell us, sir, what is it you're wearing this season? Help me! I see you're wearing a purple cloak. Tell us about it. They're stabbing me! I'm, uh, I'm pretty sure that uh, his cloak is a uh, Ralph Lauren. Ah. It's a Tommy Hilfiger. Please. For those of you who don't know, this is a triumvia robe, which is res reminiscent of Roman kings. And the accessory he's wearing is a laurel crown, which you're only allowed to wear on special occasions, such as this. Although he didn't know he was dying today, he couldn't have dressed more beautifully. Any last words, Caesar? The two day, the Caesar. Ooh. Those blood stains are going to be hard to get out. I think this calls for commercial. Back to you, Rachel. Hi, Billy Smith is here with Leech Be Gone. Watch, as other leading products, I to put this bloody tunic in, it comes out, it still has the blood on it. But with Leech Be Gone, put it in and BAM! The stain's gone. Warning, may cause bleeding, itching, oozing, sneezing, diarrhea, and scarring. Do not use, do not use if you're pregnant, breastfeeding, or may become pregnant. But wait, there's more! You order right now, I'll throw in free Leech Be Gone on the go for those Crazy, inconvenient roadside stage. Leech be gone. I see on TV. Just four drachmas. Order now and receive free trade delivery. Process keys may apply. And now back to Dan from the fabulous eye for the Roman guy with our average Roman makeover results. Do you remember our average Roman? Do you remember what he looked like? He looked like a stack of potatoes. That's what he looked like. Well, here we have him now with the results of his fabulous makeover, and he looks gorgeous. Oh, wait, hey, hey, babe, can you do another twirl for me, please? Please, just, the, wait, no, now stop. Back to you. Well, looks like that's it. And we're done with another episode of Five Minute Fashion. Viewer 
viewers, just moments ago we received news that war is coming to Rome between the armies of Brutus and Cassius and Antony and Octavius. Hide your children! No one's safe! Oh dear Zeus, what's happening? Shh! We head now to the outskirts of Phyla Phi for an exclusive interview with our reporter Mandy McNosey and Cassius and Octavius. Take it away, Mandy. I can't. I can't. Thank you, Slater Tonius. I'm Mandy McNosey, and I'm here with Octavius to discuss his plans for the upcoming battle. Octavius, how do you think you will fare in the upcoming battle? I'm pretty confident we're going to win. The enemy has come out of the camp in the mountains, and... We will fight on the plains, plains of Philippi. I will attack on the right and Mark Antony on the left. We will wait for them to charge us, and we will charge into battle. Ah! Ah! Now I'm here with Caius Cassius, the mastermind behind the conspiracy. Cassius, how do you think the battle will go? With noble Brutus on our side, we cannot fail. Will you demonstrate some of your battle plans? Of course! We shall wait for noble Brutus's troops to arrive, and then we will ride down to Anthony's forces and destroy them! Ah! What about Octavius? What will happen to him? I will show you! He will suffer the death of a thousand sons! I'm Gaius Cassius. I'm Octavius. You will die tonight. No, I will not. You will. No, you will. I will not. You will. You want to bet? Yes, I want to bet. Well, let's go right now. Okay, fine, we will. On three. Ready? Three. Ah! Yes, I am the winner. Octavius, do you have any words you would like to share with Brutus and Cassius before the battle? You killed Caesar. Prepare to die. Cassius, do you have anything you would like to say? If it would have been my idea, Anthony wouldn't be alive. And we wouldn't be fighting this little schoolboy! And what do you say to that, Octavius? His mother would not be fat. And how do you respond to the claim that your mother doth be fat? What do you say about my mama? This is Mandy McNosey reporting on Cassius and Octavius' battle plans. Back to you guys. <laughs>